If you've been following my videos at all for the last few months, then you'd realize that I'm having a very love-hate relationship with Tinder right now. Because it appears that Tinder has done something over the last few weeks that's caused a lot of guys' profiles to completely tank. Uh, and nobody knows why. I've been doing a little bit of research and a little bit of looking, a little bit of tinkering with numbers, and I've realized that there is a chance, there is just a chance that Tinder might be doing exactly what we've been asking them to do all this time, and we're not feeling so pleased with the results. What am I talking about? Keep watching to find out. So today's video is going to have a little bit of maths and a little bit of numbers. Bear with me because it's not overly complicated, but it is important to think about what's going on. So first of all, let's have a look at what was happening numerically, statistically in on Tinder uh, before this big change happened over the last month. So let's have a, an assumption. Let's just play with some numbers. Let's assume that a thousand men are on Tinder and a thousand women are on Tinder. Now, I know that a lot of guys will say, wait up. There are statistics that show like the male, like when they look at usage statistics, there's way more men than women. No, usage statistics show how much men use Tinder versus how much women use Tinder, not how many. It's how it shows the magnitude, not the volume. So um, let's assume it's average because it doesn't matter too much. These numbers will, will play out no matter how you, you move them and no matter how you twist these starting numbers, you're still going to get the same basic outcome. So let's assume it's roughly equal because... I've looked for statistics. It seems to be equal-ish. Um, but let's assume anyway, what really matters is this, that there are 5,000 matches a week. So let's assume that every woman on Tinder, on average, matches with five men a week. Um, now, this is an average. Obviously, some women are matching with way more. Some women aren't really using Tinder very much, even though they have it on their phone. So let's assume it's about five per woman. So 5,000 matches a week and 1,000 men for those matches to be distributed around. Now, in the days gone by, what we had was 80% of the matches appeared to go to the top 20% of men. This isn't a surprise. The Pareto principle, we've seen this a lot. So, um, what, this, what this actually means, guys, is that 4,000 matches went to 200 guys. So, while 1,000 matches went to 800 guys. So, what this means is that the top 20% of guys average... 20 matches per week, or about three a day. But we know really it's more like the top 20% of guys get 30 matches a week, while the guys in the 20% to 10% bracket get 10 matches a week. So those matches are just being distributed a little bit more extremely to the guys right at the pointy end. No surprises there. The downside to that right now, of course, or previously, was that the bottom 80% of guys had to share... 100 matches, <laughs> um, sorry, that should say 1,000. They had to share 1,000 matches, which equals to 1.25 matches per week, which of course is a very, very low number, especially if you think about the fact that those 1.25 matches, they're usually not very attractive matches either. So you might not even like swipe right on them to get that match, right? So in reality, it's even worse. It was even worse, right? But we know this, right? So the bottom 40% likely got zero matches a week on average, while the guys who were between 40 and 80%, they got about 2.5 matches a week. Now, again, these figures, these 5,000 matches per thousand guys, this is a, a made up figure. It's kind of a bit of an estimate, but it, it could be 10,000 matches. But the basic distribution is going to be exactly the same. You'll see how this looks and actually pans out. So Let's look at that. Let's assume it's about two and a half matches a week. I don't think this is that far off what guys, the stats most guys are actually getting on Tinder. Like the guys who are in that bracket, right? 2.5 a week is very low. Now, let's hypothesize that what Tinder is doing now, it's giving us exactly what we want. <laughs> and it's distributing these likes evenly across all men. So literally, Tinder's just going, nah, we're going to make sure every man gets exactly the same number of likes. That's what we wanted, right? That's what guys have been asking for and demanding, saying Tinder would never do it. Well, the thing is that a lot of men are complaining that their profiles have tanked, but the ma women are still swiping right on guys. So the matches are going somewhere, right? So if a lot of men are miss losing matches, other men must be gaining them. It, it just has to happen. Matches aren't disappearing to avoid. So my only guess, my only way of solving this missing match problem for all the guys who used to do really well on Tinder, not all, but many of the guys who used to do well on Tinder, they've all lost their matches. They must have start suddenly started to be distributed to guys who are previously getting none. And yet those guys aren't jumping for joy and being really excited. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. 
It's because when you start to distribute everything evenly, it's not like anyone's match rates seems to obviously visually increase. And you'll see that here. So let's have a look. So that means that a 5,000 matches a week now are going to be distributed between 1,000 men. That means five matches a week for all men. All men. And many of those will be below average looking women. So 50% of all women must be below average by definition. So what we're getting, what we could be getting is that not a perfect distribution, but if Tinder were to start distributing everything far more evenly, this is what you're going to find. You're going to find that if you start to do that, there's a lot less for every man. And that means five matches a week. That means less than one a day. Um, if you're in the below average category, you're only going to be matching with below average women. You might not be swiping right on them if you've considered that. Um, so even though the matches are coming in, you might not be, you know, the, the, the likes are coming in. You might not actually be matching with them. So this is what could well be occurring. So what happens is you had no matches a week. Now maybe you're getting actually one match. You might have five women liking you, but you might only be getting one match a week. And you're thinking, well, I, my Tinder hasn't really gotten any better either. So, you know, I'm not really enjoying Tinder. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the guys who were loving Tinder and getting really great results, all of a sudden like, what the heck has happened? I was killing it here and now I'm basically getting barely anything. What am I, what, what am I using Tinder for in the first place? And that could be what's happening. It's actually causing everyone to get upset with Tinder. It's causing this whole fallout where no one's happy because everything's becoming evenly distributed. Is this what's happening? I don't know for sure, but you can see from the numbers, you can feel free to toy with those numbers a little bit if you like, but if you start to distribute everything evenly, every man isn't likely to get a really great result, right? He'll get more than he was, but more than, you know, like, you know, doubling the result of a guy who got a 1% like like rate is 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 giving him a 5% like rate, which is really not a 4 it's a 4% improvement. It's not really doing much for him, right? You're not going to notice that um, visually. It's not it's not a great improvement. And so yeah, Tinder could be doing exactly what we're asking for, but without a much higher like volume of women using Tinder or sorry, a higher usage from women. We can't get any better for that. Now, that's not women's fault. Women just aren't using Tinder as much as men generally because they're not as desperate. Uh, you know, women still have men approaching them in everyday life. Uh, women aren't trying to go on like 20 dates a week to shag as many men as possible. Generally, women aren't doing that. So just women's usage is, is going to be different from men's. So what do we do about this? I don't know. Is Tinder doing this? I don't know. It, let me know in your thoughts below. I mean, this is this is the mass. This is what I'm thinking could well be happening because, again, those matches can't be disappearing. Let me know, guys. Um, also, right now, I would highly suggest you use an app other than Tinder. Go to Bumble, go to Hinge, go to something else. Uh, my online dating program, I've got a program called the School of Tinder. I know, terribly named for a video like this one. But I'll tell you what, everything in the School of Tinder covers everything that we, you would need to do in Bumble and Hinge and all other online dating swiping apps. I mean, all the methodology, all the, the, the information is exactly the same. I highly recommend you go and check out that program right now. It's running on a special for the next week because, you know, with this Tinder stuff going on, I want to give guys a great discount, even though the information perfectly covers all the other dating platforms as well. Go ahead and check that out. Let me know in the comments how you found it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the future. Take care.